Brandon here, time for more sex for tea. Today's question is, how much long distance is realistic because this 90 minute commute is starting to get draining? 90 minutes, I feel like, isn't that bad if you're like, can just hop on the train and go to somewhere, but I feel like if you have to drive it all the time, it probably would get draining, especially with like gas and gas prices being so wild and unpredictable on top of just the fact that it's like, it feels far, but then again, like, gay dating is so hard. It's, like, it's so hard to find people that are local, and it always feels like the most appealing guys are always somewhere else, so it's just kind of, like, you gotta put yourself out there. You gotta go move. You gotta go travel, and it's just kind of, like, I'm a firm believer, and I, I don't feel like long distance is really gonna work unless you... Okay, I only think long distance is gonna work if it's temporary or, well if you didn't start long distance as well. Cause I feel like a lot of people make the mistake of starting long distance. I kind of just feel like if you start long distance, then you're gonna like, I don't know. I just feel like it's hard to like grow and evolve when you're long distance. Cause I feel like in part of dating, it's like making that quality time together, developing it, developing it together. Like I'm not a talk on the phone person. Like I don't, that doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't make me feel deeper connected to you. Like maybe after we've already been together in person and then we're talking on the phone regularly afterwards, but like, starting off talking on the phone more than being together in person that just does not create a bond or relationship to me like that does not i just can't deal with that like quality time and physical touch are my love languages which are why i know i could never do long distance because honestly i can't get those out of a long distance relationship like i like to spend as much time as possible with my man i like to be touching i like to be cuddled up i like to be holding hands i like to be going everywhere together i like to be snuggled up I like to be cool like I want to be together in person so like I could do long distance maybe if like okay I hop on the train every weekend and just come see you wherever you are but it's like if I have to fly to you then obviously it's not gonna work like maybe if this is like temporary and I'm gonna move or you're gonna move but like if we're not moving like what is the point? Like, long distance is not supposed to be forever. Like, you, one of you has to move. <laughs> like, I don't know how you think it's going to work. Like, he lives in a different city. I live over here. He lives over there. We see each other, like, twice a month. Like, no. Like, you're going to get horny. You're going to get needy. You're going to get, like, you want touch. You want compassion. You want just to be, if they're a long day, to come home to your man. Like, you can't, I don't know. Some people, I guess it can work for you. Like, I'm a firm believer in anything is possible. Like, but I just know personally for me that would never work. So I kind of feel like if 90 minutes is even getting too draining for you, one of you is going to move. Like, there's only so long you're going to want to keep hopping in the car to go see your man or have to drive an hour and a half to see your man. Like, that is a lot of time, especially just for like a commute and then you can drive that time back. Like, I hate fucking driving. I'm not driving that far for a man. Like, that's why I would rather hop on the train. Like, I could do the train, like, Philly to New York, Philly to D.C., Baltimore. Those are all, like, two-hour commutes. Like, I feel like that's not really that bad if I'm, like, on the train because I don't have to drive. But, like, if I did drive that all the time, that would be so frustrating, so annoying, and just so inconvenient. Like, again, just move. Like, <laughs> if you love each other that much, move. <laughs> like, I know it's also, like... You have to be realistic, like, you have a job, you have, like, a house, you have, like, a pet or something, so you can't just, like, up and move instantly, but it's just kind of, like, if you want this relationship to work, one of you has to make a compromise and be able to move, like, you have to make the choice, like, I believe relationship comes first before <laughs> everything else, but, I mean, you can't put your relationship before you, but I also kind of feel like, if I have my career, car, home, whatever, like, that's not gonna fulfill me at the end of the day. Like, I need love in my life. Like, I love touch. I love love. I love passion. I love chemistry. I love being with a man. Like, I love being that feeling of euphoria and happiness and just being snuggled up or feeling protected and safe and just being in love. Like, I love that. So... I just want to be sure that I have that with my partner and that I get that as much as possible and I can't get that long distance. So I really believe like people, I think, put love on the back burner so they're not willing to make 
the move or make the change to like you have to compromise and make your relationship work so being long distance forever is not gonna work like you're both gonna get tired of it or you're gonna find someone closer that you want to pursue it and the sad reality is the person that lives closest to you is gonna be the better option no matter how much chemistry you have the person that lives far away like convenience does outweigh character sometimes so unless you're gonna move to be in the same city you're gonna have to either let it go or do something else but yeah if you love each other and you want to make it work move closer together otherwise you're just wasting your time if no one is going to want to have to relocate hell <laughs> maybe even find somewhere new you both can move together so it's not like one person to give up everything to go with somebody else because firstly I wouldn't be able to just like pack up everything and go move in with somebody else because I also feel like I'm about power and control so like I don't want to be at somebody else's mercy to be like this is my house especially when you get mad so I just kind of feel like we need a new place together so like I don't want to move in with you because I just don't feel like that's the best option for me but that's just me personally so yeah <laughs> the solution to your problem a long distance and how much is too far is if you know that it's starting to get inconvenient you gotta weigh your options and determine if this relationship is what you want to be in and that if you're willing to move to be closer together otherwise if you're not let the relationship go and hopefully you'll find someone closer so thanks for joining me for this episode of sex for tea